Hi, it's uh, David Byron here from Devon Live. I'm here with Clive Preen, uh, estates manager at Exit City. First of all, Clive, you, you dried out yourself from, from the downpour on Tuesday? Yeah, it didn't take long for me to town off, but um, yeah, Tuesday was a bit of a wet day, so it's a strange experience. It's not often that we actually get rain like that on a match day. And uh, obviously we're, we're here to talk about the pitch because the, the game on Tuesday was abandoned due to the sort of persistent uh, rain there was, but uh, Clive, the, the pitch is looking a lot drier now, isn't it? Yeah, well, it, it has a drainage system in it which does work. Um, unfortunately, there's only a certain amount of water it can get through it in one go. Um, so what happened and what we all saw on Tuesday was it just backed up and it was coming out of the sky quicker than we could actually go down through the drainage. But, I mean, we came in Tuesday, well, Wednesday morning, and yes, it was all the wood gone, the puddles, it was all fine. Um, and since then, it's again taken any rain that we've had in the last sort of 48 hours. It's all come down and gone through without any visible signs of, you know, any puddles or anything like that. And is it looking quite well set for, for Barnet tomorrow? Yeah, it's a bit of rainfall tonight, uh, quite heavy. Um, but we've got sort of four or five decent hours of sort of dry weather Saturday morning, um, which will get it back to exactly how you see it now. And then obviously we've got the forecast thing, a bit of drizzle coming through for Saturday during the game. But we can do drizzle all day long. <laughs> you know, we can do light rain for long periods of time. It's just that sort of deluge that we can't do for very long. And uh, just talk me through the, the draining system then and how it sort of works with, with sort of under the pitch. We have what's known as a soil bypass drainage system. So we have sand slits that come to the surface, um, which we, we encourage the water to go down. Those sand slits are about half a metre apart, and they take the water um, through the sand into the drainage underneath, and then out into, into Well Street, which itself is problematic because there's only 110 mil pipe that goes out off the entire site. So, and on Tuesday afternoon, that would have been running sort of a full 110 mil full full rate. So, um, the, the the thing itself, the, the way I could describe it is a modern day pitch, modern day surface now, which is a, a specific specification. The, the scientists that have worked it out and worked out rates at which water will percolate through through sand. They construct the pitch of this sand. Um, it's designed to hold on to a certain amount of water because sand without moisture in it, you're not going to get any grass to grow in it. Um, so they try and make the structure uh, certain specifications so that it holds on to water, but obviously when you get water on the top, it falls out the bottom. Now that type of pitch is, will drain 100% of the surface is basically drainage. We've sort of done that on the lines where the sand sits are. And ours, rather than 100% of it being something that will drain, is only about 5% of it that drains. So whereas a uh, you know, very expensive pitch will do about 100 mil an hour, um, this one will probably clear 5 mil an hour. So when it does get a lot of rain come down, eventually it just you know, backs up and creeps up on the surface, purely just waiting to be able to, it's turn to go down that sand really. But as we were sort of talking about, the, the pitch has sort of held up quite well in what has been quite a, a rainy, wet season so far. Yeah, we've had rain really since August, you know, and a lot of it. The, um, the pitch isn't as good as it has been in previous years. We didn't get the ability to, to do too much at the end of the season due to having a you know, possibility of a smaller window to work with. So the renovation wasn't so intense. Um, and, you know, we, we have had some, I wouldn't call them problems, but things we've had to deal with, with the construction that's gone on, with the, the grandstand, the old grandstand coming down. I mean, we've got eight foot boards sort of around two halves of the pitch, which it, those in themselves stop any sunlight and any airflow creeping in and sort of casting across those parts of the pitch. And uh, on Tuesday, obviously, you came out of the pitch with, with sort of heavy rollers and that, that sort of thing. Uh, you know, does that sort of help to, to sort of push the water down in a way? And you know, have you had to do anything like that since, <coughs> since Tuesday? We haven't touched it since Tuesday. It's every bit of water that was on that surface has gone through that drainage and, and, and left the site. The rollers are um, great for a small amount of surface water, but I mean, they would never have kept up with what was backing up on Tuesday night. But the, the sponge sort of collects the water and then drops it into a a holder underneath the in, in the wheel 
um, but we couldn't go even from one side of the pitch to the other without it overflowing and, and being full so there was an awful lot of water on the surface. And uh, I guess it's a sort of difficult time of the year as well with, with so many games in, in sort of such a short, uh, short space of time as well. Yeah, well you can't really tell what games you're going to get that spell of rain. I mean some years we've gone, you know, we're, when we played Liverpool in the FA Cup, I mean every day of that week leading up to the day we played them was really raining, the pitch was sort of waterlogged all week and then the Friday the sun came out, the clouds broke, you know, and during that one day everything cleared and we managed to get that Liverpool game on. Obviously the more games you do when your soil is wetter than normal, the more you slowly destroy everything, the grass sort of gets fed up and just thinks oh, I'm not going to live here anymore, I'm just going to die and give up, so that's really why they just sort of thin out. And uh, what is the sort of optimum weather for, for this time of year? Because obviously you want a, a, a small bit of rain, I guess, to, to sort of help the grass grow and stuff like that. I'd like it if it was about sort of four or five degrees and it wasn't raining, so we didn't have to <laughs> deal with frost and we didn't have to deal with water. But, um, you know, we've had to deal with a bit of frost this year and we've had to deal with a lot of rain. So um, last year was probably one of the better years we've had for, for weather. That was, you know, quite a dry, quite a warm winter, which was quite nice. And uh, did that sort of help going into the season? You know, you mentioned you couldn't do a lot to the pitch over, over the summer. Did it help that you, you had a good season last season, that or so? Um, a little bit. Last season had its issues. When we came into spring, it took a long time to get going because it's, although it was sort of a warm winter, that winter continued for some time. So we didn't see any sort of flush growth within sort of like April when you normally would. So um, and it wasn't really till I suppose the, the, the biggest growing part of the season this year has been sort of June, July and August. It just went absolutely mental. Um, but without us being able to do a renovation and being able to see the pitch properly, we've also ended up with a lot of grass species that weren't really what was required for a football pitch. They weren't strong enough, the root didn't go deep enough. That's the type of um, plant that gives up easily when it gets wet, when you start playing on it. So <clears throat> all these things really have just accumulated and, and made it a little bit more challenging this year. Well, okay then Clive, well, well thanks for chatting, we'll let you get back to work and perhaps do an anti-rain dance or something like that for you. <laughs> yeah, thanks very much. <laughs> thanks very much. <laughs> Thank you.